Phoenix investors, I want to talk to you today about investing in rental real estate. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. This is Holton Wise TV. I'm James Wise, and this is the show where we help people just like you start, build, or grow your real estate portfolio. And today, specifically, I want to talk to all the folks out there in Phoenix because the people I'm working with today are a husband-wife team, Larry and Tammy. You guys are from Phoenix, and you're doing a 1031 exchange. Now, here's the thing about Phoenix real estate. The pricing right now as I speak to you in 2021 is ridiculous. Now, don't get me wrong. It, it, it's high pretty much everywhere in the United States of America. This is absolutely what I would consider to be a seller's market, right? But Phoenix itself, holy crap, man. Multi-offers on every single property, and your money does not go as far as it used to. I know people were making a freaking killing uh, in Arizona during the last housing crash, right? Because everything was available. Now it's complete polar opposite. Freaking nothing is available. So a lot of people, just like uh, Larry and Tammy, you guys come to me to go to markets where your money can be stretched much further. You can do a lot more with your money if you position it in the correct markets than you can at home in Phoenix right now. And that's exactly what you two are doing, right? You guys are doing a 1031 exchange. You're identifying several properties. We have $275,000 in cash we need to deploy, and we're going to deploy that in markets that are much more profitable than Phoenix. And today we're going to be looking at a quad that you guys sent me, and we're going to jump into that right after the commercial break. Hey lenders, are you looking for more clients? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. All right, welcome back. Let's jump right into this property, okay? This, I love this one. This is a solid deal. 12705 Thrush, Lakewood, 44107. The list price is $240,000. And right here on the screen, I have the existing rent roll, right? Three of the units are occupied, one is empty, right? We got this one at $650, $440, $400, and fairly rent ready, right? Now, this is the cool thing about Lakewood. For those of you that are new to the Cleveland market, uh, Lakewood is, is not Cleveland. It's its own suburb, and it is almost night and day compared to Cleveland, it feels like sometimes. The uh, demand right, for rental properties in Lakewood is insane. Like, your vacancy is almost non-existent when you're in Lakewood. And the, the one vacant unit is freaking beautiful, dude. It's rent-ready uh, from what it appears on these photos uh, from the listing agent, of course, right? I haven't actually physically toured it. That'll be the next step of the due diligence, right? We'll get a home inspection for you. Uh, but from what I'm looking at, it looks great. And then you see some of the occupied units, right? The, the cool thing with Lakewood, is the vacancy is non-existent. The rents are much higher, right? Th those rents that I had just showed you uh, on the screen there, those are ridiculously low, right? Those must be like long-term legacy tenants. You got a mom and pop landlord running this thing. As far as what the rent should be, property like this, we are looking for $750 a pop, right? One-bedroom units. If we're in Cleveland, you need a two-bedroom unit to get you that price, right? Not in Lakewood, man. People want to live there, dude. It's close to the nightlife. It's a hip, it's a trendy area. Crime is much lower than Cleveland. This is a freaking, uh, this is like a trophy property, honestly, right? If you're going to be buying multifamily properties and you get the opportunity to get a freaking quad in Lakewood, you need to move quick, right? So it should on the long haul, be able to bring in approximately 36 k a year. Now, of course, you don't get to keep that, right? You don't get to collect rent 100% of the time. Even though there's barely any vacancy, we're still going to factor in for that, right? Lakewood, right? Not a lot of vacancy, but, you know, we're still in the rental business. Rent doesn't get paid every month, guys. It's just not how it works, no matter how trendy or cool the neighborhood is, right? So I anticipate spending like 18 Gs to operate this thing, leaving you with almost 8 
15 as your NOI. For those who've been watching this show for a long time, you guys know I love quads more than any other property because it is the property that's going to allow you to maximize your residential mortgages, right? You only get 10 residential mortgages. You should always use that first one for your home, right? Your personal home where you're going to live, meaning you only get nine mortgages, right? So do you want to use your nine mortgages to get nine single family homes and get nine rental income checks a month? Or do you want to use those nine mortgages to get as many units as you can, right? If you got four quads or nine quads, rather, I'm sorry, if you got nine quads, it'd be like 36 rental income checks, right? So I freaking love quads, my favorite. You're going to have to pay every bit of that 240000 that the listing agent listed it for. So if you did that, that'd be a 15% cash on cash return for the long haul man freaking solid deal just why we're in here for the pictures right looks like this furnace it's probably only like five to ten years old which is great these hot water tanks look to be in the same range okay you got all your electric panels it looks like we might need to do some updating uh, for the electric panels but all in all the building looks to be in pretty good shape now do I anticipate it having like a brand new roof? No. Do I anticipate the home inspection report coming back like, yo, this is the greatest property I've ever seen? No, dude, it's over 100 years old. But what you're really buying here, you're buying a property that you could finance in the mo most efficient and profitable way. You're buying a property in an incredibly low-risk, highly desirable rental area. This, I would have uh, no hesitation to put in a full price offer on this, if not going above list price to make sure that I took it down. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.